What's up everybody? The Chicago Cubs have been going crazy this offseason, and in this video, I'm going to tell you the top 5 reasons that Cubs fans should be excited for the 2023 season. Number 5, the free agent acquisitions. President of Baseball Ops Jed Hoyer hinted at a very aggressive offseason, and boy did he deliver. Not only did he land one of the most prized shortstops of the free agent class in Dansby Swanson, but he also landed six other respectable names. This includes Jameson Tyone, Brad Boxberger, Tucker Barnhart, Eric Hosmer, Trey Mancini, and Cody Bellinger. These seven signings bring in a combined 2022 war of 11.9. If we go and compare that to the six main players that the Cubs lost last season, you have yourself an extremely improved team. In fact, if you take the difference between the two groups' 2022 war and add that to the Cubs season last year, they would have finished with a record of 82-80. and 80. That would have put them ahead of teams like the Giants, Twins, and Crosstown rival White Sox. These free agents not only improve the overall roster, but they bring a ton of postseason experience. All seven of them have postseason appearances with Bellinger, Mancini, Swanson, and Hosmer all winning a World Series. This veteran leadership could be very valuable in the development of some of the younger prospects on the team. Number four, the rotation improvement. One of the biggest bright spots of the 2022 Cubs season was the rotation's amazing second half. After the All-Star break, they finished with an ERA of 3.24, good enough to be tied with the Braves for a fourth in all of Major League Baseball during that span. Two names that we're going to highlight here are Justin Steele and Keegan Thompson. These two pitchers came on the scene last year and were huge factors in the pitching staff's strong second half. Both of them finished with career highs in innings and ERAs under 4, with Steele finishing at 3-1-2 and Thompson at 3-7-6. With a rotation of Stroman, Tyone, Steele, Thompson, and Drew Smiley, the Cubs wouldn't have a starting pitcher with a 2022 ERA over 4. The addition of Tyone and the emergence of Steele and Thompson quietly gives the Cubs rotation a chance to be a top 10 rotation in all of baseball. Number three, the defense. Now, this is where Cubs fans can really nerd out if they want to. Fielding usually isn't a big selling point when it comes to rebuilding teams, but it is for the 2023 Chicago Cubs. Free agent signings Dansby Swanson, Cody Bellinger, Tucker Barnhart, and Eric Hosmer combined to bring in eight total career gold gloves. Add those to the gold glove that Ian Happ won last year in left field, and now we have nine total gold gloves on the north side. The three projected starters who don't have gold gloves are Nico Horner, Christopher Morrell, and Seiya Suzuki. Suzuki. Nico was second among all shortstops last year and outs above average, finishing only behind new teammate and gold glove winner last year Dansby Swanson. Nico's move to second base is even more important with the ban of the shift in 2023. A stud fielding second baseman could be an unbelievable asset for the Cubbies. As for the other two, Seiya won five gold gloves during his time in Japan, and Christopher Morrell is in the 99th percentile on baseball savant for arm strength among all of baseball. So like I said, defense may not seem like a big deal for rebuilding teams, but the Cubs ranked 21st in defensive runs saved last year. Who are the top five teams of this stat? Oh, I don't know, just the Yankees, Dodgers, Guardians, Cardinals, and Astros, aka five of the six division winners. Number two, Ian Happ, Nico Horner, and Seiya Suzuki. I've already mentioned these guys a couple times, but the seasons they all had in 2022 are more than enough to give Cubs fans even more hope for 2023. Ian Happ topped off an all-star season with his first gold glove in left field. Nico Horner finished with a 107 OPS plus and was one of the best fielding shortstops in the game. Nico also played 135 games last year, 23 more than his previous three seasons combined. Seiya came onto the MLB scene with a bang, becoming the MLB Player of the Week in just his second week in the league. He finished April as the NL Rookie of the Month and had a 934 OPS. Injuries slowed down his breakout season, but he showed glimpse of elite plate discipline and could be a real weapon at the plate. Any of these three players could take that next big step in becoming a bona fide superstar and really give Cubs fans something to cheer about. And number one, of course, is Dansby Swanson. That's right, you didn't think I'd go this whole video without talking about the biggest free agent acquisition since John Lester, did you? Swanson joined the Cubs on a seven-year, $177 million deal this offseason. He is the former 1-1 pick of the 2015 draft, also the same draft that the Cubs took Ian Happ. There are arguments you see on Twitter of fans saying stuff like, Dansby was the worst of the four shortstops this offseason. And the Cubs only took Dansby because he was the cheapest. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Dansby has ability and availability. Among all shortstops since the start of the 2020 season, Dansby ranks first in games played and are RBIs and ranks third in hits, doubles, and home runs. Oh yeah, he also won a gold glove last year. 
So these are all tangible stats. Sure, he's an all-star. Sure, he received MVP votes two of the last three seasons. But the main thing that gets me jazzed up about Dansby is the fact that he is just a winner. He made it to the College World Series championship twice while finishing with a 742 winning percentage in his years at Vanderbilt. Then he finally makes it to the show and helps the Braves win five NL East crowns in a row, also throwing in a World Series. The last time there was this much winning hype around a Cubs free agent was John Lester, and I am hoping with everything that I have in my mind mind, body, and soul that Dansby can have a similar effect. And that's it, guys. The top five reasons the 2023 Chicago Cubs could make the playoffs. Let me know in the comments what I miss, and also let me know what is making you the most excited for the season. If you've made it this far, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and shows me that you guys would like to see more Cubs videos. Thank you for watching.